Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to check the fuel pressure on your 94 or at least 96 to 97 Honda Accord with the four cylinder engine. This may be applicable to 90 through 95, but check with the user's manual and see. Um, but it's really very simple. I'm using a kit from Harbor Freight, it's their cheapest kit, I think it's around 20 bucks. Um, it's US General, I'll post the part number in the description below and a picture of the box but basically what you want to do is put that together um, and then your test port is right here on top of your fuel rail I know it's kind of hard to see because it's in the shade but right here you'll see a 12 millimeter bolt on top of your fuel rail along with the washer what you want to do is slightly crack that to relieve the fuel pressure maybe even put a rag underneath it to catch the excess fuel because you never want to work on this with the fuel, fuel, sorry, full fuel pressure. Uh, you don't want to get sprayed in the eyes. So what you want to do is, like I said, crack that. You'll see some fuel come out and your pressure is relieved. So go ahead and remove that bolt and the washer as well, if yours is equipped with the washer. And then what you're going to want to do is use this kit, this U.S. General Kit attachments. I'll, I'll show the attachments in the bottom, but it comes with the kit. Go ahead and thread that into there, making sure, please make sure you do not strip that. Otherwise, you're going to have to replace this uh, little assembly right here, this pipe. So just be really careful. Make sure it goes in straight. Um, I even have a wire harness bracket right here alongside the intake manifold. It has a 10 millimeter bolt. I removed that just so I could have straight access to it. With that being said, make sure with this kit, uh, along all these connections, there's one here, one in the middle, and then one of the fuel rail. Put Teflon tape um, on sealant tape on that, so just to make sure there's no leaks, and you should be good to go at that point. So let's go ahead and get started with the fuel pressure test. Okay, once you have your fuel line, sorry, your fuel pressure tester connected, what you're going to want to do is find your fuel pressure regulator. It's on the opposite side of your fuel rail. It's, it's held on by two 10 millimeter bolts. There is a fuel line running underneath it, and there's going to be a vacuum line on top of that. What you want to go ahead and do is, is remove that vacuum line. It may be a little bit stuck, so get a pair of pliers, work it side to side, make sure you don't tear it. And what you want to do is just get a pair of like uh, line pliers. I'm sorry, not line pliers, but line clamp pliers, like you would use on a brake line or a cool line, or or you can use a pair of vice grips. Just be careful not to set it too tight. Because you don't want to pinch this, otherwise you're going to have to replace it, which is not that big of a deal, but you just want to not have to replace that. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead, put your pliers on this vacuum line right here, and go ahead and pinch that off. Hey guys, once you have that clamped off, your line hooked up, tester, go ahead and crank up the car. Um, what, you're, what you're going to want to be looking for, at least on this model, is with the car running, the vacuum hose disconnected and clamped. The pressure should be anywhere between 47 and 54 PSI. Now, I don't know if you can notice, but on my gauge, I'm right around 40, the neighborhood of 43, 44. Um, so I'm actually a little low, which it, um, actually right now I'm diagnosing a too lean code. And this is part of my diagnostic procedure for the first step is to test fuel pressure. So this could be my issue. Um, but we're going to go along with the testing and then we can see if, if there's any further issues or if I do have a, a, a fuel issue. Okay, the next step in this process is that you want to go ahead with the engine running, go ahead and remove your clamp and reconnect your vacuum line back up to the engine. And what you're going to be looking for now is go back to your pressure gauge. And what you're going to want to see now is anywhere from 38 to 46 PSI. Now, as you can maybe tell on mine, I'm only around 33, 34. So I'm actually below with the pressure um, put back on the system. So we're going to do a few more tests to see where I need to go from there. But my startup test was low. My run test was low. So we're going to check and see what my issue possibly Next could be. Is I'm going to go ahead, pull the vacuum hose back off of the off of the fuel regulator, and I'm going to let you guys watch the pressure 
um, to see if it rises, drops, or see if it has no effect at all. As you can see, it did rise, but I still am below the necessary reading. Um, if So here are the basic issues with that. I'm going to go ahead and reconnect the hose back. I'm going to cut the car off and I'll let you know. So here's a couple of things you're going to want to look for at this point. So you saw on mine that the pressure, it did indeed rise. Um, if it did not rise, more than likely your fuel pressure regulator is bad. If you followed the previous test, disconnected the line, it didn't rise. Uh, more than likely your fuel pressure regulator is bad. Um, in my case, if the fuel pressure rose, but all your readings were lower than the specification, which I told you earlier and I'll try to put down below in the description um, I'm gonna be checking for a clogged fuel filter or a leak in my fuel lines um, I, I've checked before I don't have any leaks but I'm really having um, a suspicious uh, the suspect in my case maybe the fuel filter has been replaced but that was about maybe 70,000 miles ago and I, I tend to run my gas a little low so it's very possible I have some debris caught in there um, if the pressure did rise but the readings were higher than the specifications you need to check for a pinched or a clogged fuel return hose or line so once you have all this together you can make some diagnosis you know what your fuel pressure is at you can see where to go from there um, another test is also test to see if a bad fuel pump so um, so if you go to crank the car and you're getting no fuel pressure um, more than likely the suspect there is more than likely um, the fuel pump or the, the fuel pump system such as a main relay, a fuse, um, a power issue and you'll have to diagnose it from there. So go ahead guys take off your um, fuel tester line carefully make sure to replace the washer if you had one on your test port and put that uh, bolt back on um, pretty snug but don't over torque it. Thanks for watching guys.